the Lord. I didn't come to entertain nobody. No. I come to worship the Lord. Amen. Amen. I want to praise Him. You know, for the last 15 years, I've I've tried to take care of the church and I've tried to work and be gone all the time and I'll not be able to get out and visit folks and fellowship with them. And Brother Dallas, I've thought about you a long time being up here. And I thought if I could just get away sometime to get away from everything that's going on, I'd like to go up and be with you. Thank God. Because I know he's trying to share what he has. Thank God. And you know, God gives you something. You've got a burden to give to someone else. And you've got to carry that burden whether they accept it or not. That's what the prophets did. They bore the burden. Hallelujah to God. And I thank God for the old brothers and sisters that bore the thing in the heat of the day. Thank God. Thank you, brother. Hallelujah. I'm glad for the word of God. I'm glad for the truth tonight. I'll tell you what it's going, what it's going to make you change. Hallelujah. I'll tell you about myself. Thank God. I, I was a young man. Thank God. And I started out for the Lord. I, I was really on fire. But I'll tell you what, if a God begin to deal with me, hallelujah to God, I think I've got more about Glenn and what the Lord wanted me to do. Hallelujah to God. I tell you what, yeah, there's a lot of things happening. But you know one thing, when you get ahead of God, hallelujah, you get in trouble. Yeah. And that's what I've done. I got in hell, got in front of God. I had brothers that was over me. And I wouldn't listen to them. Hallelujah to God, my brother, my Uncle Taylor. Hallelujah to God, there's a lot of times he tried to warn us uh, and tell us but I didn't listen brother Dallas uh, hallelujah to God I was young uh, I thought I knew it all uh, hallelujah to God I wasn't a voluntary rebellious child uh, but in my mind I had my own ways uh, I thought things out my own path uh, and I needed thank God to have instruction uh, I needed to <coughs> listen to them uh, it was over me uh, I needed to obey them uh, and had to rule over me and teach me the truth of God uh, a thing that ain't just always learned uh, by reading the Bible and praying, but it's just learned by experience. Yeah. It's learned by patience yes. and pressing through yes. with God tonight. Yes. That's how we get it tonight. Hallelujah, this is a lifelong thing. Yes. It just don't happen overnight. He said, He that endure until the end, yes. the same shall be saved. Hallelujah to God. I love the Lord tonight. I want to walk with Him. Thank God I'll tell you what. But you know, I wandered around sin for about eight years. I lost about everything I had, brother. Hallelujah to God, like the little sister said here, I didn't even lost my driver's license. I, I didn't even have a car to drive. Hallelujah to God. I was behind on the house payment. I didn't have no work. Hallelujah to God, but I had something to get high on. Hallelujah to God. And I tell you what, after a while, hallelujah to God began, thank God, to, just to take my way. My life began to fall apart. Like Brother Dallas said a while ago, my life just fell apart. Hallelujah to God. One day I was on top of the world with a pocket full of money and all kinds of friends. My house was a place where I party and come there. I was used to the center of the party. But overnight, brother, I got caught and I was in jail and my life was over. Come yeah. on. Come on, brother. Yes, my sir. My life was over. And one night, yep. yeah, amen, my family was taken away. All them that I loved was taken away. Yeah. Amen. I was facing a bunch of time in there. Hallelujah to God, but I'll tell you what. Bless it made me start thinking about the Lord. Yeah. Amen. And I remember I, I was thinking how bad it was and how much trouble it was. And I remember I looked across to one of them old steel tables. I mean, you know, I'm not still here. There's still locks are down in them doors and I'm running Hallelujah to God. Have you ever been in a place yes, uh, where you feel like you're locked out or you're locked in? One uh, of well, these days, uh, you might be locked out without Jesus. Uh, yeah. And Come you on. might be locked Come up uh, in the lake of fire uh, and you'll never ever get out. Uh, hallelujah to God. But he told me that night. Uh, hallelujah. I was sitting there. I was thinking about all my troubles, uh, how bad everything was. Uh, I was listening to locks turning down. Uh, and it was just like a voice spoke to me uh, and said, this could have been hell. And you'd have never got out. And I started thanking God that night. Thanks, I started thanking Him because I was glad. I'll tell you, I've wrecked motorcycles, been in car wrecks. Yes, I've sir. done all kinds of things. I've laid in bits of hot. I didn't know if I was going to be up. Hallelujah. But I'd say, oh God, I hope you don't let me die in the shape of me. Yes, sir. I'm glad He had mercy on me. Ain't you glad tonight? And God had mercy yeah. on you. And He reached yeah. out you when you needed Him. Hallelujah. When no one else can. He reached out. He never forgot about you. Hallelujah. He looked out and looked you tonight. Hallelujah. He looked out for everyone tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You started my life. 
my way back. Oh, Jesus. It started my way back. Yeah. I came back home. I was still facing a bunch of time in jail. I met my wife. Amen. We only courted for three months. Amen. But I'm there in church, brother. Dallas only courted for three months. Hallelujah to God. Me and her got married. Everybody thought was crazy. Amen. Maybe we was. Hallelujah to God. She bought my wedding ring. She paid for my jacket to get married in, brother. I didn't pay nothing. Hallelujah. But I tell you what. Yeah. Jesus. I, I had a start. Yeah. I had something to start with. I had a stone to build on. Amen. 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 He's good. I don't know if he's good up here or something. It's all right. It's all right. He is. He is so good. Yes, he, he is. He is so God, you know. <laughs> I went to the altar. And I still went. Had to go back to jail. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I thank the oh, Lord. Here I've, I've got right with you. And I'm praying I'm living right. But you know the Lord took me and you still going to have to pay for what you do. done. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I had two years. I was facing two years. Amen. I went back in there and I stayed five more months. Hallelujah. I've already been in two. I stayed five more months. Hallelujah to God. And I had no idea how I was going to get out. But I, well, I was making the best of it after the Lord showed me what he showed me. I just started telling other people about the Lord. Yeah. Amen. I said, we might be in jail, but we can be free one of these days. And we can be free Come right on. now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God can touch us right now while we're in here. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. And I went from being in the hole and doing setups to go around and put traps underneath the doors yeah. and tell people about the Lord. He gave me a work to do. He can yeah. thank God nobody else that I have to work. But God's got to work for everybody. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Lord God. Thank God you. Out there, my wife tells me that that's when we went on our honeymoon. To the Greenham County Jail. <laughs> Amen. Come on, brother. It's been five months. You know what? When I got out of there. <laughs> yes. Blessing God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Oh. Sorry, brother. Yeah. Come on. I didn't have a job. I didn't know what I was going to do. Two blocks away from me, somebody wanted some work done on the house. And then started out a little job, ended up with being a big job. Yeah. And for that job table, I was able to get my driver's license back. I forgot me an old pickup truck. <laughs> Hallelujah, God, I was on my way. And I didn't have a lot in that. That old truck didn't make it very far. And I worked up and down by the church on 650. I built houses and everything on that road. I go through there now, show people jobs. And the Lord give me. And you say, well, no people give it to you. No, the Lord put it yes. in my heart. He give me a way to support my family. That's right. They take care of myself. They take care of my family. Hallelujah, God. There's more than just going to church. I Amen. Mean, Lord. We gotta work for the Lord. Yeah. We gotta work for ourselves. And God will heal us. I guess He will. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God called me back into the work. And I started doing it His way. Come on. He said, stay in the book. That's right. And that's what I'm trying to do, Brother Dallas. I try to stay in the book. That's right. I don't understand it all. No. There's a lot I don't understand. That's right. But what I understand is in the book. That's right. Amen. I can't preach something I don't know anything about. That's right. I can't. If you tell me something I don't know, I'm going to say I don't know. Amen. Right. Amen. Because I, if I don't know, I don't know. God knows. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the one that knows. That's right. Amen. I'll tell you what, it's good. I'll tell you what, I can preach here all night. Thank God. It feels good. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. 